Hey, this is Comic Artist Pro Secrets, and I am Ethan Van Skyver, your host, artist for DC Comics. Happy to be with you here today because somebody asked me the other day, they said, Ethan, will you teach me how to draw a building in perspective? And I said, yeah, I sure will, but let's take it step by step because you can't really draw a building in perspective without understanding the very first point, the very first aspect of perspective drawing, which is the horizon line. Now, what is the horizon line? The horizon line is actually a, it's a physical or visual uh, boundary um, where the sky meets the earth. Okay, so it's basically the line um, between you know the big big old sky and then the ground. Uh, coincidentally, uh, the horizon line is also always at your eye level, you the viewer. Uh, so whether you lie on your belly on the ground or whether you stand on a ladder, uh, the horizon line will always oddly. Uh, rise to meet your eye line. Um, so that is the first thing that you're going to have to understand when you're composing a panel. And let's try that. Let's figure out what do I mean by the horizon line. Now, let's get a nice ruler here. All right, so here's our panel right here. Now, we are, as the artist, the director. We're holding a camera. We're off screen, if this is the screen. Um, the horizon line let's just say we're at the beach and here is the horizon line right there and you can almost picture it already right this is just a fabulous this is a profound drawing in and of itself because right now we can see the sunshine and we can picture here's the beach here's the tide rolling in oh it's so amazing this is why I get paid the big bucks all right there's the water now the question is where are we now you can't see us in the drawing because we're holding the camera but let's Let's come to realize together that you and I, off panel, are right here. Should I, I think we're wearing a beret because we're, we're a director. That's important. Oh, it's so weird. Look at that eye, it's very Egyptian. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's not important. Okay, here we go. So this is us, we're at eye level. If we were holding a camera, um, I know at this point, from this perspective, I mean, we could actually be standing on a ladder or we could be laying on our belly, but this is our, our um, horizon line and it does meet our eye line. So now what we can do is we can start laying in other people. Now, let's say that we are standing on the ground as a cameraman, and I think we are in this shot. We're just standing on the ground, we're filming. Now, here's our eye line. Interestingly enough, our eye line is going to meet up, or the horizon line is going to meet up with almost, well, everyone else who's in this drawing who is of our same height. So here's a person right here on the beach. And they're spooky looking too. Look at those eyes. And then way back here, there's a person standing in the water, also hanging off the horizon line. You can actually think of the horizon line as maybe like, um, uh, you know, just a, a rope, you know, that you hang your laundry off of. And you can just imagine hanging figures off of this rope. Um, and so, you know, this person who is kind of close to us is also meeting uh, our gaze right at the horizon line. Okay, so no matter how near or far they are, they will always hang off of the horizon line in, in the same place. Um, and by the way, I mean, should we have uh, lowered the horizon line a little bit and put our eyesight down here as if we were laying on our belly? And maybe um, the horizon line cut through our main figure here. We, we drew a figure here and the um, horizon line was cutting through his ankles. Then that would mean the same thing. That would mean that everybody who was his same height would be, would meet the horizon line at that same point, right through the angle. So here's a figure here. Is this too confusing? All right, let's change. Different panel. Okay, so now, now that we understand that the horizon line is basically where the earth meets the sky, where we place the horizon line on our panel is going to determine an awful lot about our perspective of the world. Uh, as seen through this little window. I mean, this is our little window. So, 
for example, if we were to place the horizon line very high up, and by the way, you could even place the horizon line off the panel if you wanted to. If you wanted to be so high in the sky that you're just looking straight down at the ground and the buildings, like you're in an airplane looking down at the ground, you could actually literally take the horizon line off of the panel. This, after all, is just our window that we're seeing the world through. There's more world outside of this window. Therefore, the horizon line could actually be outside of the box. Um, but for our uh, argument right now, and about you can skew the horizon line too. Imagine you're in an airplane like this, and then the ground kind of changes. You do this, and you pull up, and you see the sky, and you pull down, and you see the ground. Can you picture this? I mean, this is basically what the horizon line does. It's absolutely magical. Um, so we could draw the horizon line right here, for example, and what we're going to see then is very little sky and an awful lot of ground, aren't we? A tremendous amount of ground below us, all right? Now, on the other hand, we could draw the horizon line way down low as though we were at worm's eye view. That's what they call it. This is bird's eye view. This would be worm's eye view, okay? And then we're suddenly going to see an awful lot of sky. We're going to be looking up, and we're going to see the sunshine way up here. We're going to see the moon. We'll see the we'll see stars. We may see buildings kind of receding off in, into the distance, but this is what happens when you put the horizon line low. And also, you can take the horizon line so low that it's off the panel right down here because, once again, this is just our window into the world. There's much more world outside of here. Um, so it's our choice. It's our choice as the director where we place the horizon line. Um, now, what, what are the effects of uh, doing either? Um, you know, uh, obviously, if we want to look down, if we're, if we're tall, if we're in the sky, we want to put the horizon line high up in the panel so that we can see more of the ground. And if we're on the ground and looking up at something that's impressive, like, like tall buildings or like a big monster, or Godzilla, or an impressively statured superhero, we could have the horizon line be a little bit lower. Okay, so that's what the horizon line does. Uh, it's not that hard. It's not that scary. It's an easy concept to master. Um, but I will uh, promise you that once you do understand the horizon line, uh, your perspective drawing will start to uh, make sense to you, and it'll be a lot less scary and a lot more simple. Um, so there you go. I hope you got it. If you have any questions, leave me comments below in the comments section, and be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell so that you'll get alerted to all my new videos. And Together, we are going to learn perspective. This is going to be the easiest perspective uh, series that I think you've ever experienced. And by the time we're done, you will be a master. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Comic Artist Pro Secrets. Bye-bye.